Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Laxon, and today, as you can see, I've got some racer gears here. I actually picked up this for myself. I actually want to upgrade my desk behind with some new equipment. So I'm doing a lot of more videos just to show the progress of my desk right now. Right now, you can see it's literally empty. Nothing is connected, not even my screen. Everything is just laying there. So need to be setting this up so actually going to do videos and all the things i'm buying just testing it out giving a quick feedback so the first one i'm going to start with is the racer gear so i have picked up the racer productive line gears so the pro type and the pro click as well as a pro glide but yeah let's just begin with the video but let's start with the keyboard so the keyboard comes in two different options you can get the pro type ultra or you can get the pro type and the only difference with Ultra is that you get the wrist wrist rest included as well. Ultra is priced at $160, so that is not too expensive because normally Razer gears are on the expensive side. But this is a fully wireless mechanical keyboard for productivity. And that's what I want. And of course, we have silent switches. But yeah, this is the box. As you can see, nothing fancy. We've got the branding there. As you hear, we've got the silent switches picture of it bluetooth as well as 2.4 gigahertz on the back side we've got more about the switches the linear key switches so the silent compared to normally race of mechanical keyboard which are pretty clicky and loud but these are silent switches as you can see here we've got comfortable with every keystroke ergonomic design with soft touch encoding we've got a unparalleled wireless freedom Business here, your fingertips, multitasking, and supreme ergonomic support. But we will go over those things. Of course, you got the design, some stuff. But yeah, let's just open this up. And on the top, you can see I've actually went for the UK key layout. You can get this in a lot of different versions: US, European, German, a lot of different language. But I've went for the UK keyboard. Just much easier for me to type, and that's what I'm used to. So I'm gonna stick with that. So let's just open this up. Okay, this is quite big, but let's just have a look at what we got included here. First of all, so we have a Razer Pro Type Ultra. Okay. A lot of things, but just a quick user guide manual in case you need any help. You can check this out, but I really don't need this. So I'm going to put that away. We've got the keyboard itself. That looks really nice. Let's see what else we got included. Looks like the power cord charging cable. Yes, this is a power and let's just hope it's type C. Yes. So on one side we have A and then it goes to C, which is really nice. And on the inside you can see we do have the green for racer. They always do that. Looks really nice. Decent link cable, I have to say. And let's get the keyboard out. Here's the wrist strap you get included on the ultra line. So if you don't get the ultra, you don't get this included. Let's just have a look at this. It's a nice color. I like this. As you can see, I'm going for white theme style with the desk and everything. So that's why I opted for the white ones. This looks really, this is pretty soft. Well, good padding to it and it's leather as well and it's nice and soft i have to say and of course you can attach it and detach it but let's just put that to the side and let's have a look at this the keyboard itself this looks really nice so yeah let's just have a look at the keyboard itself so this looks pretty nice to have the aluminium construction the keys looks really nice but let's Yeah, they are a bit loud. Okay, of course they're not loud as normal Razer keyboards, but I was thought it's going to be a bit more silent than this. But I don't know. I have to try and get used to it. Maybe but this looks really nice. I have to say. So this keyboard does feature silent linear key switches. So let's just pop them out. You see here, they are on the silent side, but I don't know. I feel like they're a bit a bit loud. Yeah, the build quality is full aluminium, as you can see here. It looks really nice. Moving a bit here. 
really nice it's nice of course the keycaps are abs plastic the keycaps are lined with finger resistant and well as soft sauce coating so should be really comfortable of course you can connect up to four different devices at once so you can just change between your mac your macbook or your pc if you have more devices but i'm going to be using this on my macbook so so i do feel have the latest version of mac os so i can just use a single keyboard to go between my mac my ipad so that's no issue so i probably won't be connecting multiple devices but it's a really nice feature if you have windows or any other devices or you have two computers you want to connect them both together which is a really nice feature mappable keys as well as macros so you can program for your different needs and just quick shortcut buttons which is really nice of course guys remember i am not a professional keyboard reviewer expert or stuff like that i'm just reviewing this just you know giving my first impression just giving my impression of the keyboard i'm just saying i do like it i love the color i like the white feel but yeah let's just have a look at different keyboard so here i do have the racer huntsman's elite keyboard which are more on the pricey side i think this one reaches for like 200 dollars or plus of course this one has faster mechanical switches and they are racer optical switches so for extreme performance of course this one does come with racer's chroma for multicolors so you can just go crazy there with the colors and everything like that this one is only backlit just white color so keep that in mind in case if you want some colors but i didn't i just want a simple white color it's just so minimal so that is really nice but this one is full chroma so you can go crazy there with the colors and connect it to all your other razor gears and just and of course this does have an emulsion body with a matte finish of course got the same abs keycaps as well and as you can, this one is much louder compared to this so now that one feels really silent as you can see this is pretty loud compared to these so i'm happy i went for this because i don't want anything loud when i'm doing productivity just want to focus on my work but yeah otherwise yeah it has got the kickstand of course this one does have a like connected cable like you can't detach it because you can't go wireless this is wired where this one is a wireless keyboard that's nice just i don't want too many cables on the desk so that's why i opted for this one this is not magnetically attached there's no magnets like with the elite it actually goes in place but this one you know, it looks nice you know, i like this i made this keyboard it is nice oh yeah let's just open the next box the next one is this this is the racer pro click wireless mouse and this comes in two different options you can get the pro click and you can get the pro click mini as well which is more like a portable one you can just travel around with to bring around this is the full size it's very similar to the logitech mx master i've had the first generation second generation and the 2s so i want something different and i want something white really wish logitech did white preference but they always go for darker colors so it's black and i want something white so these were the only options i had so yeah let's just open this up so this mouse just reaches for hundred dollars which seems a bit more expensive but because i wanted the white i had no ooh, no other choice this is nice I like this i like the color just love it this white silver just looks elegant do have that little economic design it's really great to use of course this does have a 5g advanced optical sensor for edge cutting precision of course this will work with bluetooth and your dongle as well and the dongle is in here as you can see so you can just switch between both modes and keep it off which is really nice of course this one you can connect up to four devices as well in case you have a few other devices you want to connect up to you can do that which is always a nice thing of course we do have eight programmable buttons so if you do want to change some of your buttons to do some specific things you can do that of course this is wireless as well so that means it is battery use and you get up to 400 hours of use with the bluetooth connection and with the dongle you get approximately two 
100 hours of use, which is still nice, but still, I'm going to go with the Bluetooth, so I get 400 hours of connection, which is really nice. So this feels nice as well. I said, guys, I am not a mouse expert. Not like it's not my fuel, like cases, headphones, speakers. Yes, I know our smart home tech. I will destroy it. But when it comes to like peripherals and gaming stuff, not really good at this. So something I'm trying, something new, but yeah. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of these different types of unboxing and just, you know, reviewing products and just having a look at it. But yeah, this is nice. Let's see. It goes really well with the keyboard, I have to say. And just see, it looks, it looks nice. But yeah, let's just get rid of that and let's bring the last box. This is the Pro Glide. This is the standard version, which of course, I have, we have the XXL version. You can get in, in a medium and a small as well. And of course, you can go for the chroma one where you got like lights around. I didn't want to go for that. That one reaches for $60. This one reaches for $30. And I said I want my desk to be minimal and simple. Not too many colors. So just probably just use white colors. So for this one, it made no sense. So I went for this one. This is really large. So you can fit your keyboard as well as your mouse, have your phone next to it and stuff like that. Let me get my little trusty knife here. This is nice. I love the color already. Okay. This is really big. But this is what I want. Really nice. Let's just let's look at this. Let's look at this. This is really thick. It's nice, squishy. Of course, on the bottom, we do have like this textured bottom, so it's not going to slide on your desk. Then on the top, we have more soft, more soft feel. Let's just put the mouse. Nice. Ah, this, I like this. I don't know. Is it maybe too dark? No, oh, this is nice. So if I was like rocking this properly, Let's do that. Let's get my phone out. Let's I put this here so you can see all of it. Yeah, I like this. A lot of space. You can have things laying on the desk, like I have space for my phone. Of course, I do have a lot of mice movement. Of course, I do have like the cables. Let's just get out. You can see I do have a good amount. We have a good amount of space to move here. This actually looks nice. Like I'm really impressed. So of course I have to give it a try. See, you know, use it, set it up with my computer and just see how well it works so let me just quickly pair this with my mac and see how well it works okay i've got everything set up played around with it tried it works really well i'm pretty happy with it all the features works on the mac so your volume switches media switches your screen brightness works really well of course the keyboard lightness so as you can see i can turn it down this is off Go fully down. It's really well. Really bright. So yeah, the, I have no issues using on the Mac. The Windows key works as the command, so everything works fine when I'm typing. Even stuff, no issue. Connecting was fine. FN1 for the first pairing, and then FN2 for the second, and FN3 for the next one. So that was no issue. Pairing was very simple. Same for the mouse, it was just at the bottom. That works really fine. That, that's no issue there. Works fine. The only thing I notice is you have to use the dedicated charging cable because it is different. Like I had to charge it and couldn't use any other cable. I had to use the one that was included because I have like rivs. So, so when you have to plug it in, you have to go in a certain way. It's like, like this. It's flush when it's in. So you can't use any other third party cables. So if you lose this, yeah, then you're in big trouble because I just tried a few other cables and I couldn't try to find the one in the box, but it works fine. So that's the only thing I'm going to complain with. Keyboard, no issue. It's type C, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think it would have been nice if they made the cutout a bit bigger so you can use any third party cables in case you lose it. Or, you know, if I take this with to my workplace, I'm sitting somewhere else and I didn't bring my cable. I cannot charge this. 
but of course i do get 400 hours of use of this with bluetooth connection so for that reason i'm not going to go too sad about it i am not always prefer like that you can use different cables so you don't have to rely on one single cable i hate that so that's something you have to think about otherwise it works really well with the mac i'm getting a bit used to the sound of it now like it's not that heavy it's not that bad so i'm sure i'm gonna get used to it i do like it so far it's not too loud but it's more than what i expected so i have to keep that in mind but in a few weeks time i'm gonna get used to the sound and i'm not gonna be having any issues so overall i like this it looks really nice works fine with my mac so that's the good thing overall give it to guys but yeah that was it <laughs> just a quick unboxing first impression of the racer productivity line so the pro type ultra the pro click keyboard keyboard and the pro click mouse and the mouse pad the glide pro glide really happy with it i'm going to be you know trying it out in case i change i will make another video explaining why i changed it but for now i'm going to rock in this white setup and of course guys i will have a full desk setup video coming out soon so make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon so you don't miss that out video and i'm going to be doing more unboxing in the coming weeks and days now with all the different gears gadgets i'm going to be picking up for my youtube channel for my desk so make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out any of those videos because i'm gonna have a lot of more videos coming like probably like every single day from now on hopefully so make sure you stick around guys because i will be doing a lot of more content be putting more effort into these youtube videos so yeah if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and of course guys leave a like but as always guys thank you for watching the video and i will see you next one take care